cases. Now, here in Southern California, firefighters, paramedics are among the brave frontline workers confronting this pandemic in our communities to keep us all safe. And as of this morning, 147 LAFD members have been tested with at least seven confirmed positive. Our Natalie Brunel tells us more about the changes being made at fire stations to protect the staff, but also the public. Natalie? These are unsettling times for LA City Fire Captain Eric Scott, who has been working remotely for more than a week now, like so many of the Angelinos he serves. It's really unlike anything we've seen before, so we are working tirelessly to ensure that our members are informed, that they have the proper equipment. As the department's public information officer, Captain Scott first tweeted about the coronavirus back in January. And there were suits like this. Sharing the extra precautions the LAFD was taking when people flew into LAX with flu-like symptoms. That was nearly two months before the city issued a safer at home order. You know, Fire Chief Terrazas has been very forward leaning on all of the policies and procedures, constantly updating them, making sure that our early on in January that our firefighters were informed. Since then, the fire department has made wide-ranging changes to protect both its members and the public. Now, when someone calls 911, dispatch will ask extra questions to determine if a patient might be at risk for having the virus so that responding crews can have the proper equipment and attire. You're going to see our firefighters, even on their routine medical calls, now start wearing the mask. Additionally, you're going to see us hand a mask to the patient but another new thing we've done is we've, we're calling it a, a one-in, one-out rule. We're maintaining six feet of distance from uh, our patients while we're performing an assessment. Members are getting their temperature checked twice a day, and no more visitors are allowed at fire stations, where communal living has called for extra cleaning and sanitation measures. The fire department says it's also providing testing for its members, some of whom have already been confirmed positive. Fortunately, they're off duty and they're doing well. Just last month, we spent time with some of LA City Fire's Skid Row crews, and looking back at that footage, it's obvious how much those medical runs have changed. Okay, you gotta stop. One thing that hasn't is prioritizing hand sanitizers. After every call, no matter what. And despite the growing 911 demand in other cities like NYC, Captain Scott says overall emergency incidents last week were actually down in LA 8%, and hospital transports decreased by 35%. We equate that to a lot of people that are heeding the mayor's warning. To, to be safer at home. A comforting sign for Scott and his team members as they face this pandemic head and mask on. The fire department say they have all the protective gear they need, at least at this time. And just a reminder, if you believe you have COVID-19 and are not experiencing life-threatening symptoms, you should call 211 and not 911. 211 is your go-to number. You can ask all the questions you have right there. Mel?